Take a picture if you like. Excuse me? Do you want a chip? A proper dry. A bit like yourself. Who the hell do you think you are? Choke on that. But you shouldn't get involved with Nan. Everything backfires for her. I know she could offload them some cards. You don't think she'd rob me of being family? Oh, right, only family when it suits you, yeah? I didn't say that. Mum always said you look couldn't be trusted. Oh, did she? She said that, did she? What was that on visiting days? I'm surprised we'd know what she looks like. I could say the same thing about you. Where are your kids? Oh, no, I was forgetting. Just get out of Wolford. Make me. Ow! Oh, get off me! I to see it. Get off me, Look, Kat! You will leave it even if I have to drag you out of sight. Get off me, Kat! Do you want me to tell everyone what happened in Spain? I've got no idea what you're talking about. I swear I'll tell them, Kat! <sighs> There's nothing to tell. So why did you let go of me then, eh? See you around. Oi! Oi! Thieving git! Are you still here? What is your problem? Look, you'll be the one with the problem if you hang around here much longer. Stacy said it and she was right. Once this lot clock what you're doing. Once Stacy clocks her ex following me around like a lovesick puppy, more like. Do you enjoy it? No. Eh? Causing trouble. You've always been the same, your side of the family. No, that's the pot calling the kettle, that is. And what do you mean by that? No, exactly what I mean. What are you doing? Oh, it's none of your business, you nosy cow. It looks very much like my business to me. <sighs> You've knocked out three boxes, and that's just while I've been watching you. Need my test then, didn't you? Yeah, the rest of us got to pay for our pitches. This ain't her pitch. It ain't stopped you, though, has it? She's going, all right? I'll go when I'm good and ready. No, you'll go now. And you're going to make me, yeah. aren't you? watch me. Whoa, 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 look. You're only going to be there till Ailey's mate picks them up. Well, how many mates you got? What? She's been knocking out stuff for the last half hour. Thank you so much as think about stepping foot in my pub again and calling the police. Yeah, and I'll have you for GBH! Oh. You rung me? Oh, I must have been in our pocket call. You all right? What do you care? Look, just tell me. Just taste it. I don't want to. Have they put vodka in it? Keep your voice down. I thought you liked to drink. Not every flaming day. Get down, will ya? It ain't funny. I don't want to drink today. You not take the mickey and think you can get me back on it? Mizog. <laughs> Ladies. What? We just want to watch the wedding and have some fun. Nothing serious that ends in drunken fights. We ain't drunk. You keep sneaking spirits into them drinks and you will be. No, take it back home. Oh, they ain't doing nothing wrong. Oh, please, Mum. And I ain't got amnesia. You're barred. Now get out. Come on, Hayley. Go and drink lemonade with the kids. <laughs> I'll kill you! Oh, here we go. Oh, I think he's got the wrong number. I own one. We're sharing this house. No, that's not for sale. No wonder Keanu washed his hands of you. Yeah, Bernie told me about you nicking his tools. Hands up if anyone cares what this ginger cow thinks. Oh, um, shut up, you two! Oh, Guys, they're fighting! Oh. One minute. Go on, oh. Bill, you show up. Oh. You're gonna say that again? Get off of me! Hey. Get off! Wait! Oi! Oh. I'll leave you alone for one minute! She started it. Yeah, she did an old mouth, just like her nana Pat. Right, you have a fight, you go out in the street, not in my house. And you, shut it. Oh, come on, just one. I told you. One little photo. Working. Come on, you lemon, smile at the camera. I said. One little smile. <laughs> Do you want me to match? So if Mum or Cat knew what you'd done, we'd be putting them flowers on your gravestone. Yeah. Should have put them in a the vase. Could have smashed them up my head. Tried doing this earlier, but... Uh, we've been too busy, have we? Bashing up grannies. Can you just... Oh, Hulk, get him out again, is he? Don't bother trying anything this time, because I will prop up, lay you out. I'm sorry, all right? Sorry. Is that it? Not even worth a proper explanation, nah? I just... 
I had a rough day. A rough day? Why don't you tell that to the judge next time you want to smash some poor girl's nut in? I thought not. Want another go, do ya? I'm coming in. Here I am. Give it your best shot. Do you think you're going to catch me off guard again? Do you think I'm going to let you get another cheap shot in? I don't let anyone lay their hands on me. Do you understand? No one. I'm sorry. Is it mind? What? Answer the question. I think you need to calm down, no, Stace. I am calm. Mum, go away. Just answer the question. What question's this? She reckons the baby's Martin's. It's ridiculous, Stace. I told you. Well, just, just deny it and we'll all move on. It's not Martin's. When are you due? It's not Martin's, Stace, all right? As if I'd really go near him. Why, what's wrong with Martin? Nothing's wrong with him, all right? But I've never touched him. Do you really believe that, honestly? Look, it's not Martin's, 100%. Let's just get that clear, yeah? Where would you even get an idea like that from, anyway? It's just a thought, like <sighs> one of my best. So whose is it? It don't matter. Yes, it does, Hayley. Why? Because people are going to ask. And why would they do that? Because you're pregnant Shh. and you're going to get bigger and bigger and eventually a little baby is going to come out of there and everybody's going to know. Stace. No, why is she so determined to keep it a secret? Why lie about being pregnant, Mum, and about who the father is? Because of people like you, all right? Not everyone's got this family situation that's all perfect. My situation ain't perfect. Well, you and Martin are bringing up his best mate's baby. And everyone's all right with that, all supportive, happily ever after. But it's not like that for me. And it's pretty clear that this magical slate of family where everyone supports everyone, don't include me. Oh, Cousin Ailey. True. Yeah, all right then. I made one mistake, one stupid dumb mistake, and slept with someone who I shouldn't have once. And this is what I get. He don't want to know. I've got no one around, no family, no friends, no support, nothing. I am on my own. You are not. Yes, I am. Plus, I've never been pregnant before. I don't know what I'm doing or even what I'm supposed to do. And all I wanted was a little bit of time to figure it out for myself without everyone all up in my business. So I'm sorry I didn't sit you down, Stace, and tell you all my hopes and dreams for the future, considering we are besties, aren't we, after all? And you think that much of me that I would go behind your back with your husband? All right, I get it. I can't wait to get out of this house away from the lot of you. Oi! Give me that back. No, one call. I'll be the middleman. No, you can go. Go on. While you're at it, you can take all that tuck with you. No, I ain't going nowhere. Yes, you are. You're just a stranger. Go on, I should have known. Parasite, get out! You'll regret this. I doubt it. Good riddance. You think that's late a lot, won't you? You'll be out on the street before that thing's half out of you. Oh, good. I'll see you there, then. Remind me again. What street was it? The yourselves, shelves. Otherwise, I'm calling the police. Yeah, I'd like to see you bleed and try. That's a walking cash machine, you stupid cow. Why can't you see that? No, Mum, it ain't. It's my little gal. God help her. You should have got it sucked out when you got the charms. I can't should have. Yeah, I wish you did. I tried, believe me. Hayley! Leave it! Don't worry, I'll clear it up for you. This time for free! Go on, I dare you. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you are just nothing but an evil scrubber. Like mother, like daughter. I ain't nothing like you. Dirty, evil scrubber. Yeah, you said that already. You never was much good with words, was you? Thick as flaming mints. No way! Nah, you and that leopard print trout deserve <laughs> Hey, then. Are you all right? Just leave me alone. Hey, right, taxi! No way! Oh, I don't know why I bothered. When you balls that up, which you will, you remember I was here to help you kick me in the teeth. No, please! No, don't call me that. I used to pray you'd be born dead. Where to? Far away from her, she can get me. No way, please, I'm bleeding. I need to go to the hospital. How could you be so stupid? Oh, I can't do this anymore. Sit down now. No, what's the point? I know what you think of me. I know what everyone else thinks of me. You're going to tell Kat anyway, ain't you? So why are we just going to sit here arguing for? Because it doesn't matter anyway. I have never been one of you, not anyway. So why don't you just stick your little lectures and stuff them where the sun don't shine? Deep down, you know you're going to be better off without me, didn't you? So why don't you just do your favour and go? You want to go? Go! Because I have done nothing but care for you! Clearly, I've been wasting my time! I'm sick of the sight of you! Go! Judas! Just say get out of here, Kat! After everything she's done for you! 
you. She's done. She's phoned the social. What? What happened? Is this because I won't go to the doctors? I haven't, Stace. No, is this all right, Mum? I like... just had some bird reindeer giving me the third degree. Get Jean off me. Jean ain't called no one. Well, someone did. <laughs> I should have known. What else was I supposed to do? How about keep your big hat? Someone needs to look out for that baby because you clearly ain't hat. No, it's true. She needs help. And while she's under this roof... Will I? Not anymore. Oh, no, no, you can't go. I'm so sorry, Jane. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's just, it's all all right. Doesn't matter, it's just a silly misunderstanding. Jane, just leave it. I should have known it was you. I heard you slagging me off to Jane. Baby's better off without me, yeah? Not denying it, then. Jane should have just kept her nose out and let me do it. You don't mean that. Read my mind now, yeah? Yeah, I can. Every stupid fault, I can read it because I've been there. Yeah. You think you're the only one that's had these faults that wants it all to be over? All the fighting and worrying, all this? Do you think no-one else has had life up to here? You ain't that special, sweetheart. I've been there. I know. I know those feelings and they don't last. Things get better. And I live happily ever after. You live. That poor little sod is relying on you to not muck things up. I haven't seen you happy about having her, not once. Why is that? But there's no one else to look after her, no one else to love her except you. I swear, Hayley, I'll do a lot worse than call the social if you do anything to hurt her. Huh? You just keep your nose out of my business. Do you hear me? My baby's nothing to do with you. She's part of this family. Why are you so bothered about my child getting hurt? What, are you feeling guilty, are you, after what happened to yours? Oh. <sighs> You really are your mother's daughter, aren't you? You are sick! Do you know, all this time, all I've been bothered about is not ending up like her. Yet it turns out I'm more bothered about not ending up like you! Well, who do you think you're talking to? Who are you lecturing? You're the one that should have had the abortion and you ought to be better off then! You! Go on! Save me the job! You! You take her word over mine? A slapper who can't even look after her own kids. I don't need to take anyone's word for it. It's written all over your face and it's in your eyes. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> You'd do anything, wouldn't you? Even sell your own granddaughter to so unknown criminals to get your filthy paws on some money. Better criminals than have you bring her up. What? <laughs> Come on, Hayley, just ignore her. Come on. Yeah, cheap, disgusting little tart like you. That baby will be in the gutter before you know it. Where are you going home? <laughs> There's only one place you're going, Hayley, and that's straight to hell. I've already been there. 